with rising prices, limited inventory, and a backing of new house development, many people are questioning if what has gone up must come down. In other words, are we on the verge of another housing market crash? Between 2006 and 2014, 9 million families lost their homes due to foreclosure or short sales as a result of the housing bubble crash. Most markets took nearly a decade to recover after housing values fell by 30% or more. Homeowners lost a total of $7 trillion. Several local real estate markets are still struggling to recover. Are we on the verge of a second housing market meltdown? Given the recent flurry of activity, not likely is the quick answer. Today's mini boom will not persist, but the crash as severe as the last one is highly unlikely due to a few factors. Factor number one, increasing lending standards. Some of the country's top banks and mortgage businesses were brought down by loose mortgage lending practices. As a result of the repercussions, Congress and federal regulators were obliged to enact significant changes that have fundamentally altered how mortgage lending is governed. Standards have since been raised and the mortgage application process has become more open. Borrowers must undergo stringent income and asset checks, and anyone can get one. Loans are forbidden. To enforce this new regulatory structure, a brand new regulatory body, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, was established. Lenders that do not follow these guidelines risk facing serious consequences. As a result, the mortgage market is currently more stable and secure than it was 15 years ago. These tougher controls will protect the housing sector from any downturn. Factor 2 Pervasive Mortgage Forbearance When the housing market fell in 2007, the surge of foreclosures increased housing supply in places where prices were falling and labor markets were poor. While simultaneously preventing recently foreclosed borrowers from re-entering the market as buyers. The impacts of mass unemployment in the epidemic era, on the other hand, show little resemblance of the Great Recession, thanks in large part to forbearance programs that let homeowners defer their monthly mortgage payments without incurring penalties. 2.6 million homeowners' mortgages were in such forbearance arrangements as of early March 2021. As the economy has slowly recovered from the pandemic, many homeowners have resumed work and, as a result, for mortgage payments. Factor 3. Home equity as a cushion. The gap between your home's current market worth and the amount you owe on it is referred to as equity. To put it in other way, it's the share of your home's value that you actually own. If prices rise, as they have nearly universally across the country in recent months, your equity rises as well. Homeowners in the United States have experienced housing stability and growth over the last decade, accumulating substantial home equity reserves. The average family with a mortgage had $194,000 in home equity in the third quarter of 2020, and the average homeowner acquired around $26,300 in equity over the course of the year. In contrast, about a quarter of the nation's mortgage properties were valued at less than the amount owing on those mortgages in 2009. Factor 4. The price rise will slow but not stop. Many real estate economists were astonished by the sales boom that followed the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic in April 2020. Like most other business sectors, Real estate was expected to lock down, if not required in many places. By mid-April, however, sales were surging as buyers, many of whom were millennials, took advantage of historically low mortgage rates. 
rates stayed below 3% for the rest of 2020, while existing home sales hit a 14-year record. The nation's median existing home price for all housing types rose to 12.9% to $309,800 in January 2019, marking 106 consecutive months of year-over-year -year growth. The multi-year trend of major price increases will come to an end, at least for the time being, but inflationary pressure on entry-level homes will persist in most markets until new home development relieves the pressure. While no one can predict exactly what will happen in the real estate market, most analysts believe we will see a market correction, but not a crash. Even so, staying up to date on market trends, consumer feelings, and expert perspectives is critical. As usual, if you like this kind of video, please help us achieve our channel goal of 100,000 subscribers before the year 2022 ends. We'd really appreciate your support. You don't know how it means a world to us. And leave us a thumbs up to provide you more about investing. Thanks millionaires. See you in the next video.